Hey there, how's it going? This is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another cigar review. And today I'll be smoking the Monte Cristo and a Mundo. This is a 5 and 3 8 by 52 ring gauge Robusto Extra. Nice, solid, hefty feel in the hand with this being a Cuban, hopefully not too hefty of a feel in the hand. But yeah, nice enough looking wrapper too. Light brown in color. Only a couple of prominent veins. There's the foot. Very, very well packed foot. And there is the band. Simplistic and classic Monte Cristo band here. But yeah, uh, this is a Cuban Puro, so every leaf is comprised of Cuban tobacco. And just recently, only a couple days ago, I had a subscriber, Ezra. Ezra, hopefully you don't mind me mentioning your name. Ezra requested that I smoke and review more Cubans for the channel. And just today, a couple days after that request, Ezra became a patron on Patreon. So yeah, just to show how much I appreciate what you did today, sir, I'm gonna listen to your request sooner than later. So yeah, because of that, I'm looking for this Monte Cristo here. Let's get it cut up, lit up, and see what we have. Moment of truth, does this Cuban have a good draw? It does have a good draw. Slide it up. Very creamy cigar to start. Vanilla cream is the main tone through the wrapped O'Hale and on the palate. Love that note, but I don't love this mineral earth note. I'm picking up both of the red on palate as well. Luckily, I'm getting a lot less of that note than the vanilla cream. Uh, through the red hill, faint amount of nutmeg, floral spice combination. Musty cedar and peanut undertones to the red and on the palate. And that is about it to start. Right now, I'll say mild to medium body, fairly short finish, and such a creamy smoke texture. I'm just hoping that mineral or earth note goes away here. We'll see what happens. So I'll go ahead and smoke it down through the end of the first third. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have come to the end of the first third. Nice looking burn line, beautiful looking ash, great construction here, and lots of smoke. Damn fine Cuban here. So yeah, at this point, medium body, long finish, very creamy smoke texture as well. Uh, the vanilla cream is at the forefront. Vanilla cream and also this light roasted coffee, two main tones to the retro and the palate. The mineral earth note is gone at this point, thank goodness. While well, most of the minerals are gone and the earth component's gone, it's just in the form of a very faint salt to the retro and the palate. Musty cedar, also some peanut to the retro and on the palate, and a very faint amount of the nutmeg floral spice to the retro hill. Now that the mineral earth note is gone, I am really, really enjoying this cigar. Looking for the second third, so I'll go ahead and smoke it down through the end of the second third here. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have reached the end of the second third. Gorgeous burn line, beautiful compact ash, and still lots of smoke. Extremely enjoyable cigar here in the second third. At this point, medium plus body, long finish, such a syrupy smoke texture. A note that's coming to the profile that has taken over the profile. Butter, a salted butter through the retro animal palette. That is the main tone. I absolutely love it whenever I get a butter note on a cigar. Mm. Delicious. Uh, still picking up the vanilla cream and light roasted coffee through the retro animal palette. Just a touch of the nutmeg floral spice through the retro hill. Uh, 
along with musty cedar and peanut undertones to the retro animal palette. Loving the addition of that butter note, hoping it sticks around to the end here. So I'll go ahead and smoke it down through the end of the final third with high hopes as well. Now I'll get you the final verdicts. Hey, we have reached the end of the final third. Little bit of a wavy burn line, but it's serviceable at the end. Nice compact ash still and lots of smoke. So yeah, at this point, medium plus body, long finish, such a syrupy smoke texture. No changes here at the end of the final third, and I'm okay with that. Still have that salted butter at the forefront, such a beautiful satiating flavor. Salted butter with the vanilla cream and light roasted coffee underneath that through the retro and the palate. And all the same other undertones are still intact. So yeah, overall, I'm gonna rate this cigar a memorable. This is the first Cuban that I've rated a memorable on my channel. The first third was satisfying. The second and final thirds of this Monte Cristo were memorable, so overall, a memorable score. I also forgot to mention, this cigar is from a box with a box date of 2018. So this cigar has around four to five years of age on it. Apparently, age did this cigar pretty darn well here. And also thank you to my subscriber Ezra. One for becoming a patron, two for suggesting I smoke more Cubans for the channel because this was a damn fine Cuban here. And one last thing, do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey. If you've heard this before, feel free to click out of this video now. But do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey with the way YouTube has been restricting and censoring cigar content lately. It is paramount that you know I am on other platforms like Rumble and Odyssey just in case if YouTube pulls the plug at us here if you watch this on YouTube. So yeah everybody, this has been my review of the Monte Cristo in Edmundo. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you for the next view.